So this is the final project that we're going to be building in this section of the course. We're going to work with Foundation 6, SAS, and a WordPress team. And this is the final product. You can see here at the top, we have this image. This is going to be a background image. And if I open this customize right here, if I open, click here on header image and add new image. You can select the image that you want. So for example, this one. You can crop the image wherever you want. Something like this and crop the image. And you will have this preview. If you don't, if you don't want an image, you can click here on hide image. Go one level back and open the colors. And here you will find this header background color. Here you can set a different color for your background. But I think this design looks better with an image. So I'm going to click here on header image and set this one. Let's save and let's go back to the front page. Next, you can see here we have this main navigation and we have these icons. We're going to be using foundation icons. And this navigation is going to be fully responsive. If I make this smaller, you will have a menu like this one. So let's make this bigger. Here you can see we have this orbit slider. We're going to be printing the latest entries using this slider. And let's scroll. You will, you will find this latest entry. So we have the image, the title, the author of this entry, the date, with some icons, also the content, and you can read more. If you click here, this will take you to the full entry. And you can see that in the main navigation, we have this highlighted, well, the section where we are in the website. So we're giving to the user a feedback of where they are in your website. We have this image, then this title, then the content, and the comments form. I'm going to click here so we can go back to the front page. You can see that here we have this subscribe to your or newsletter. You can click here. This will open the contact, well, the newsletter form. It's going to be connect to MailChimp so you can collect emails for your users and subscribe to the newsletter. Also, you will find that here we have the from our blog. We're going to create a custom widget so we can print specific entries in this section. But you can see here we have only the image and the title. But if I make this smaller, you can see that in the mobile version we're printing some content. So the user in the mobile version will have a preview of what they are viewing before they open the full entry. Here at the bottom you will find that here we have this menu and on the right we have this social menu with the icons of these social networks. If I click here and menus, you will find that here we have the social menu. So this is going to be fully, well, dynamic. I'm going to save and reload. Now you can see that we changed the order. So it's going to be really helpful for the end user. You can click here on About Us. So we're going to create more styles for the About Us section. On Recipes, you will find something like this. And this is going to be fully responsive. I make this smaller. You will, you can see that the, how this adapts to the screen. I think this is really, really cool. Everything is going to be done from scratch in this team. If I open the blog, you can see also we have something. And finally, we're going to create this contact us with this contact form. I'm going to show you something really cool uh, as a developer. We're going to modify the Google file so you can have this access URLs and you can preview your site in your computer or in your cell phone or in your tablet using these URLs. So that you are going to be more efficient while you're working. And I'm going to show you a small example. If I open Atom here and I open the index.php and I add an H1, hello, and I save, you can see that hello is printed here. 
Hello, let's make some change. Hello, my friends. Save. And now you can see, hello, my friends. So you are going to be more efficient and your workflow is going to be really, really fast. Thanks to this Google file that we're going to be modifying for this section of the course. So hopefully everything sounds interesting for you. We're going to be creating six different pages for this section from a PSD files. So hopefully everything sounds interesting for you and see you in the course.